hello everyone. Um, I'm Anthony here with Tweaktown and I'm here to discuss NVIDIA's next generation GPUs, which are not confirmed yet, um, but these are just the rumors, but I have been hearing a lot of this from my sources. Uh, a lot of the people that I've been talking to have been saying that this is about where we're gonna be in the next six, 12, 18 months. And it's exciting. We are looking at having a completely massive leap in terms of uh, GD, um, uh, in terms of uh, GPU horsepower, and also from the use of HBM2 and HBM3 and GDDR6. 2013, 14, 15 was not that exciting for graphics cards. 2014 and 15, it started to get a little bit more exciting with Maxwell. We're coming in off of the edge of the Hawaii architecture from AMD and the Radeon R9 200 series, um, the R9 295X2 dual GPU, which is still a great graphics card now, but then everything's really kind of changed with Pascal and Nvidia has just come out completely smashing um, uh, AMD in a way because we now have faster cards than ever before and the cards are only gonna get faster. There was a big leak from uh, the Badu forums, or Badu, 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 I don't know, I'm just gonna keep saying it like that. It had a bunch of information on NVIDIA's new card. Starting now, um, we have the tease of the Volta architecture, which NVIDIA are probably gonna be unveiling at the, their own GPU technology conference in 2017. So that takes place between uh, May 8 and 11. Tweaktown has been there for the last three years, I think. Um, I've personally been there three years in San Jose. It's a great event. We always get the brand new um, architecture unveiling for NVIDIA. They usually have a, uh, a graphics card launch. That's where we saw Titan Z. It's where we saw uh, Titan X. Um, this year, we saw the unveiling of the Pascal architecture before the launch of the GTX 1080 um, uh, about a month and a half later. And we also saw the first HBM2 based graphics card released at GTC this year uh, from Nvidia in the form of the Tesla P100. So the Tesla P100 ran the GP100 GPU, pretty much the same GPU that ran, uh, that runs, I should say, the Titan X, but then the Titan X where it uses GDDR5X, a 12 gig of GDDR5X, the uh, Tesla P100 is a high performance computing part, a HPC part with HBM2. Now, that wasn't too exciting for, for, for gamers or for, for the PC community because we couldn't buy a HBM2 based part from NVIDIA on the consumer side, but that will change moving into 2017 and even more in 2018. At the next GTC in May, we're expecting NVIDIA to completely unveil the Volta architecture. Um, maybe not completely, I think that we're gonna see more of a big tease, but they might roll the event into two. So this year we had, the, uh, we had GTC in the beginning of April, and then NVIDIA flew um, some of the media out, myself included, um, to Texas for the unveiling of the GTX 1080 and GTX 1070. That was pretty good, but it was two events very close to each other. And NVIDIA is hosting their GPU technology conference between May 8 and 11, and then Computex, which is in Taiwan, will be the first week of June, which it always is. They're gonna be very close to each other, which is not good. Maybe Nvidia will be unveiling a new graphics architecture at GTC and doing the consumer launch at Computex, um, or they might just do it all at once. But then normally Nvidia have their own editor's day like they did this year for the GTX 1080 and GTX 1070. So it'll be interesting to see if Nvidia do actually shift to that model or not. It will be it will be an interesting time, um, but we've got to remember this is, this is eight to nine months from now. So Nvidia have a lot of time beforehand and um, to prepare for this a lot of time beforehand. Again, we should be expecting the Volta architecture to be completely detailed at GTC. It could happen before then at CES in January, which is only a couple of months away. And Nvidia have said that they are gonna be doing something big during CES, but CES is usually filled with the deep learning side of things. It's usually filled with um, artificial intelligence and self-driving cars, the compute market. Um, it's a very big, broad, a professional focused event where a lot of people expect a new GeForce card to be released, but then normally it's, it's a GPU architecture event mixed with the high performance computing and professional side uh, of, of, in, of the graphics um, card business, not just Nvidia. We should see Volta at least either CES, but I'm expecting GTC. And then there was more news, um, I think about a month ago where Nvidia signed a contract with Samsung 
to make the Pascal GPUs on Samsung's own 14nm FinFET process. So right now, NVIDIA are using the 16nm FinFET process, which is done by TSMC. It's pretty good, but the yields weren't as high as what they, they could have been. NVIDIA did have a bit of stock problems in, in, in the beginning, which we all know about. The, the high price um, was, uh, was, was pretty sucky at the time. We, we can't complain. Now the prices are coming down, even here in Australia, they are coming down, but it still definitely sucks. Uh, to have that price increase and AMD went through the same thing but now that the 14nm and 16nm nodes are, are more established they've had more cards pumped out onto them we should start seeing the prices come down and we should start seeing um, a better future um, uh, hopefully so we have the uh, the Pascal 2.0 refresh so everyone seems to be calling the Pascal refresh I think it would be more like Pascal 2.0 where it would be an evolution of Pascal Pascal is already an incredibly versatile incredibly powerful architecture that is very power efficient it scales incredibly well from the lower end with the purported GTX 1050 GTX 1050 Ti coming soon GTX 1060 is a great graphics card I personally think it's a little bit too expensive and, and a little bit too expensive compared to the RX 470 RX 480 but then we get to the GTX 1070, GTX 1080, and Titan X, and they are all awesome. They're all amazing graphics cards, faster than what I expected this leap to be. I kind of expected a very large leap going from 28nm to 16nm and from GDDR5 to GDDR5X and as well as the Maxwell architecture to the Pascal architecture and I, I think NVIDIA delivered in, in, in my personal recommendations of how far the next GPU will go. But then we've got Volta and Volta is going to be a big, big deal because Pascal at the end of the day is really just a very heavily refined uh, Maxwell architecture. There's not much new there. We still have the same kind of support for displays. Um, we still have the same kind of uh, technology being used, the same shaped cards, the same look of cards. But I'm hoping that we get um, the Pascal 2.0 based cards to be smaller, more power efficient, and I think that will happen. Samsung's 14nm FinFET process is very, very good. Uh, not saying that TSMC 16nm process isn't good, but Samsung are just a massive behemoth and they are making, or well, they're at least manufacturing um, GPUs for a lot of people and they manufacture um, uh, custom designs for even companies like Apple who are their main competitor. So if we look at a timeline, um, right now we are looking at CES with NVIDIA's big keynote. We don't know what to expect, but normally the uh, CES keynotes are the consumer electronics side. So it's normally the self-driving cars, artificial intelligence and all that kind of stuff. And then we should expect at least something to do with gaming. They have teased gaming, but I think it'd be more like a a, um, a Steam, or oh, like a Steam thing, a uh, more like a, um, a Shield device. I think that that would be something cooler for NVIDIA to unveil at um, CES 2017. I actually have full faith that NVIDIA will unveil a Shield-like device, whether it's gonna be a successor to Shield or Shield TV, uh, whether it's a, a new VR-based headset for, um, for Shield as well. So I think that that could be something that, um, uh, uh, that, uh, that NVIDIA could do is unveil um, something like a Shield VR headset. But also remember that in, uh, NVIDIA, that also uh, Nintendo will be releasing their Nintendo NX console pretty close to CES. And I have personal sources that have said that NVIDIA will be powering the new Nintendo NX with a Pascal-based Tegra chip. So there are a lot of other reports that say um, uh, that, that say that uh, NVIDIA will be using a Tegra processor inside of NX, but I have sources that have said it's gonna be a Pascal-based Tegra which I was told back in, I think it was May or even late April or something like that. So about five months ago now. And we still haven't heard confirmation, but there were more rumors um, with proper sources because, you know, a site like Tweaktown is completely ridiculous to source to, even though I said that I have a very reputable source. And I called this five months ago that NVIDIA would be using one of their Pascal-based Tegra designs inside of NX. And it was only about six weeks ago, uh, five weeks ago, something like that where um, the big gaming sites are saying, oh, it's gonna be an NVIDIA processor inside of NX, OMG, how did this happen? Read around guys and you find out that this information's been around for a while. Uh, so we could see NVIDIA uh, talk about the Tegra, the new Pascal-based Tegra, um, which could go into the new uh, Shield VR headset that I think will be coming out. And probably that'll be the big tease of, um, especially because NVIDIA is saying they're gonna be doing something about games at CES, and I think that that Tegra-based design could be shown, uh, sorry, the Pascal-based Tegra design could be shown off 
um, at CES. And then again, it, um, uh, Nintendo is only a couple months away from that for the NX release, which is supposed to be in March 2017, which is only um, two months away from CES, which is pretty connected in a way. And then Nvidia's next event, which is GTC, is two months apart from um, uh, from Nvidia. Uh, sorry, uh, Nintendo's unveiling of NX. So it's going to be a very interesting, um, uh, very interesting kind of like I guess month. Um, CES is going to be very important, but that, that the next month and a bit after that into March is going to be very important with the release of, um, or at least the hopefully the announcement and release of the next generation NX console, which I hope they keep the name NX. I don't want them to do a PlayStation where it's like, it's called um, you know PlayStation 4 Neo and then it changes to PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 4 Pro just doesn't sound as good as PS4 Neo. I kind of want um, Nvidia to just call it.